12 buried, stunning sci-fi movies that no one talks about now. Every genre has its fair share of overlooked classics. Sci-fi, being Hollywood's favorite, has produced a profusion of films known and loved by people worldwide. The genre has an unparalleled ability to create innovative, thought-provoking, action-packed movies. Unfortunately, some forgotten gems get buried within this plethora, and no one ever talks about them. This video will showcase some of those buried sci-fi treasures that everyone must watch. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Cocoon, 1985. A group of aliens returns to Earth to retrieve many cocoons left behind from an earlier visit. After retrieving them from the bottom of the ocean, the aliens restore them in the pool of a rented house in Florida. However, their mission is disturbed when they discover that several retired elderly people from a nearby community have been secretly using the pool and have since discovered unusual powers from the cocoons. Ron Howard created a modern-day sci-fi fable to catch everyone's fancy with its incredible special effects. The glowing aliens are almost too realistic, their hand movements provided by the famous Caprice Roth, who did E.T. Howard showcases intelligent direction by manipulating the screen time for certain characters so that the film's impact is enhanced and viewers recognize the cast's excellent performance. James Horner portrays a fantastic musical score that is a smooth mix of symphonic grandeur and childlike wonderment. The film deals with the theme of aging with the utmost tenderness, and it also provokes the question of supernatural or extraterrestrial beings existing. Overall, Cocoons contains a plucked melody that chimes in during all the crucial moments, which leaves viewers feeling like they have established a strong connection with each character. It is a thought-provoking gem that must be watched by everyone. Enemy Mine, 1985. An Earth soldier crash lands on an alien planet after sustaining damage from a battle. Eventually, he encounters another survivor, but from the enemy species he was fighting. Both of them must work together to survive in this hostile world, in the end establishing an unexpected bond between one another. Wolfgang Peterson created this movie with utmost finesse, portraying a visceral, dynamic, and iconic storyline. It portrays an out-of-this-world photography and cinematography. Its production design is very aesthetic for a mid-80s film. Some of its special effects are gorgeous, and it contains seamless camera work since the transition between the real desert locations and the painted sets cannot be identified. Its fantastical element is highly enjoyable, and the characters are seen wearing fabulous costumes. Dennis Quaid portrays a remarkable performance as the protagonist, Will. Besides its top-notch special effects, sets, and costumes, the film lays a central focus on a touching and compelling human survival story involving hate, conflict, and the trope of bitter enemies eventually becoming unlikely friends. Despite the entire movie being reshot, Wolfgang Peterson has created a forgotten classic that is worth watching. Your savior! Johnny Mnemonic, 1995. Set in a dystopian 2021 world, the film portrays the future being dominated by megacorporations and connected by the gigantic internet. Half the world is suffering from nerve attenuation syndrome. NAS, and protagonist Johnny has an implanted memory chip in his brain that was ordered to transfer information from Beijing to Newark. 
First and foremost, this cyberpunk action thriller directed by Robert Longo portrays an all-star ensemble cast of Keanu Reeves, Dina Mayer, Ice-T, Dolph Lundgren, and Udo Kier. Each one of them dazzles the audience with their outstanding performances in this underrated, solid action flick. The film is based on the story of the same name by William Gibson and upholds a brisk narrative. It provides a stark political commentary by giving viewers an outlook into the potential new century environment that capitalism and technology can build up with armored towers, multinational corporations, and ruined democracies. Furthermore, it captures their attention with a poignant prologue. Robert Longo displays remarkable cinematography, with the scenes of Newark and Beijing being primarily shot in Toronto and Montreal. He also exhibits a colorful variety of characters that establish their individual connection to viewers, including Carl Honig, who provided a mirror to several fundamental citizens of American society. Finally, it contains top-notch action sequences and high-tech equipment all packed in a futuristic ambiance that everyone must watch. Free Jack, 1992. Alex Furlong, a Formula One racer, is snatched by a time machine a split second before a fatal explosion by Victor Vassendak's 21st century team of techies. They want to sell his body to an ailing rich man in McCandless Corporation for a mind transfer. Even though he escapes, he finds that he has no rights in this nightmarishly violent and sleazy future. He realizes that he has to fend for himself to survive and revive his relationship with his fiancée Julie, who is now 15 years older and an executive of McCandless Corporation. Jeff Murphy puts his unique directional flavor in this film's futuristic storyline. It has a solid script accompanied by Emilio Estevez's natural charisma. Mick Jagger, Anthony Hopkins, and Rene Russo also contribute to this underrated gem's exciting and original premise with their multi-dimensional characters. This movie is cheesy in an enjoyable way and displays decent special effects. Murphy carefully crafts it with an insane plot, coherence, and thrilling ambiance in a way that leaves viewers wanting more. It is driven by explicit imagery, consistent characters, and just enough development. Besides these qualities, this film showcases a unique twist on time travel that would make avid sci-fi fans go wild. Furthermore, the futuristic setting makes the audience wonder whether the world's current scenario might end up in this way, and delivers an important message about human beings' actions to preserve the world at present. Overall, it is an underrated sci-fi flick worth a watch. Dark Skies 2013. Lacey lives with her unemployed husband, Daniel, and her two sons, Jesse and Sammy, in a quiet suburban location in an unnamed American city. She is a real estate agent, and her sons share a very good relationship. Soon, several bizarre occurrences befall the family, creating chaos in their house. They learn that a terrifying, deadly entity is after them who has arrived from beyond the stars. This is an edge-of-your-seat horror film with several jump scares and recurring suspense that director Scott Stewart intelligently builds up. It borrows some of the best features from past sci-fi horror films, creating a surreal impact for viewers. It presents an old-school approach in terms of storyline development and delivery of frights. The characters develop at a timely pace and are in sync with the plot's progression. Stewart carefully takes care of all intricate details and creates a very thought-provoking atmosphere for the audience. Carrie Russell delivers an emotional, powerful performance, and the overuse of CGI animation gore complements its old-school vibe. Waiting till the end for the alien-like being's revelation adds to its thrill, and their digital appearance makes them look realistically creepy. 
the cliffhanger ending opens up a sequel scope and makes it a unique movie in the sci-fi genre and a must-watch. Splice, 2009 a young rebellious scientist couple are told by their employers to halt their groundbreaking experiment of producing new creatures with medical benefits by splitting together multiple organisms' DNA. However, they decide to continue their work, but this time by splicing human DNA. Director Vincenzo Natale creates a brilliant, cheesy, profound, and juvenile movie with a memorable storyline. What makes it so great is that the writers weren't afraid to explore the most exotic ideas that came to their minds. Creating an artificially empowered humanoid, who also serves as one of the most beautiful characters in the film, certainly portrays a broad imaginative range. The film investigates several subtexts, including rape, incest, bestiality, and science. It is predictable in a compelling manner that viewers find themselves looking forward to certain scenes. Moreover, it serves as a voyeuristic romp truly testing the limits of the extent to which the writer's imagination can stretch. The overall plot evokes a comic book feel with complex themes like the Oedipus Complex. The film is a deep socio-political satire disguised as a campy sci-fi flick. It also exhibits techno-moral humor, accompanied by a thrilling narrative. This combination makes the film a true paragon of its kind that must be watched by everyone. Soldier, 1998 a handful of people are selected at birth in a futuristic society to grow up and become soldiers. They're trained in a manner that makes them inhuman killing machines. One of the most successful soldiers, Sergeant Todd, is pitted against a new breed of soldiers, after which he is believed to be dead. His body is abandoned on a foreign colonial planet where everything is peaceful, and he's taught new aspects of life. Eventually, he has to fight those soldiers again, and this time, defend his new home. Kurt Russell plays a silent and robust leader soldier in this futuristic action thriller directed by Paul Anderson. It's set on a garbage dump planet and resembles a blend between Rambo and Shane. Kurt Russell and his supporting cast all portray outstanding performances. With minimal dialogue, he conveys the utmost emotion, feeling, and meaning with just facial expressions and glances. It depicts realistic action sequences with themes of searching for one's humanity and individuality. Anderson showcases immense character depth and variety throughout this underrated gem and remarkable cinematography, which evokes a Blade Runner vibe to the viewers. It is an action film with a message and a cautionary tale that transcends the sci-fi genre. It reminds viewers of the importance of keeping one's humanity alive and entertaining a bleak alternative future. Kill Command, 2016 Set in the near future, a heavily technology-reliant society is creating killing machines. An elite marine unit is sent to a remote, off-the-grid island training facility to test the latest prototypes. They set up positions and make short work of the AI targets. When their sentry goes missing overnight, they find his corpse the next day. They soon realize that they are trapped in a killing field. They must fight to survive on an island overrun by an intelligence far beyond their predecessors who learn from their every move. This low-budget sci-fi movie is based on a solid script and is directed by Steven Gomez. It has a remarkable set that looks incredibly realistic and commendable special effects that blow viewers away. The actors portray excellent performances, and the robots are designed in a carefully detailed manner, fighting on elaborate battle scenes. The scenes are tastefully shot with great dialogue delivery. There is a constant feeling of tension that lingers throughout the film and leads to a decent culmination. Avid sci-fi fans enjoy the Predator-slash-Terminator atmosphere of the movie and are hooked onto it right from the beginning.
Moreover, it subtly implies a message on the shortcomings of a world primarily dependent on technology with humanity as the secondary focus. The film is well-paced, containing a few jump scares, and is very visually aesthetic. Furthermore, it uses realistic military tactics, a classic high-tech villain, and an original plot that makes it worth watching. <laughs> Altered States, 1980 in the late 1960s, Eddie, an unconventionally brilliant graduate, conducts experiments with an isolation chamber using himself as a subject. These experiments leave him with unusual hallucinations. Several years later, he is a Harvard professor who believes he has lost his edge to experiments. He decides to resume his experiments with unusual hallucinogens, claiming that these allowed him to enter into an alternate physical and mental state. Although his colleagues and wife don't believe him, they're concerned about Eddie's well-being and the impact the experiment is having on him. This film, adapted from Patty Chafsky's only novel, is a masterpiece directed by Ken Russell. It explores the theme of a common bond between all human beings and the ability to love. It is a harshly beautiful and intellectual 80s flick with fine performances. It displays dazzling special effects and exhibits the painful emotional epiphany that the protagonist Eddie experiences. He does this as he fights his way out of the roadblock of pure intellect. Ken Russell sends a strong message about the power of love and its ability to embrace us all and heal wounds. Viewers find comfort in its central idea of commonality and kinship that humans have with each other. It highlights the dangers of setting oneself apart to avoid the pain and consequences of love. This underrated gem is one of the best films created and a must-watch among the realm of lost sci-fi. Monsters, 2010 Six years ago, NASA discovered the possibility of alien life within the Earth's solar system. They launched a probe to collect samples, but unfortunately, this crashed onto North America upon re-entry. Soon, new life forms begin to appear, and Mexico is quarantined as an infected zone. In the present day, the American and Mexican military struggle to contain these creatures. An American journalist agrees to escort a tourist through Mexico's infected zone to reach the U.S. border safely. This movie, directed by Gareth Edwards, displays outstanding cinematography and visual effects. It has a high production value with a sparse plot. Viewers often overlook the subtext of aliens landing and being contained within a restricted zone, being a forced but entertaining allegory for racial disharmony. The film has an art house atmosphere and less action than viewers might expect. Duo's journey through the zone exhibits several stunning shots and shocking story involving silent terror. Protagonist Andrew Calder makes for a memorable character, played by Scoot McNary, who portrays a remarkable performance. The film elicits the perfect ratio of realism and stereotypes, and is still a highly enjoyable watch. Plot unfolds at a brisk pace, accompanied by an eerie soundtrack and tension-building strings that immediately draw viewers in. Dreamscape, 1984. A government-funded project contemplates using psychics to enter people's dreams with mechanical assistance. When a subject dies of a heart attack in his sleep, Alex Gardner becomes suspicious that one of the other psychics is killing people in their dreams, resulting in their death in real life. It's up to him to stop this abuse of power and find the culprit. Joseph Rubin created a dark sci-fi thriller with a mind-blowing cast of Dennis Quaid, Max von Sydow, and Christopher Plummer. Despite its serious premise, Dennis Quaid's outstanding acting provides ounces of comic relief throughout. Viewers are treated with fantastic dream sequences in this film, with subtle touches of Rubin's vibrant direction style. 
The diversity in colors allegorizes the different characteristics and subconscious of the people. It has excellent special effects for a low-budget flick and great stop-motion animation. The film plays with viewers' emotions by showcasing the dynamism of dreams and their impact on one's conscious by portraying the surreal, horrific aspects of the subject's dream worlds. It is packed with thrilling chase scenes that maintain plotline continuity. It explores themes of good versus evil, and the characters all have fantastic chemistry with one another. With unique 80s creativity, originality, and a modern-day spin, Dreamscape is a lost gem worth bringing back to the surface. Let's get started. Extracted, 2012. A scientist has invented a technology to construct virtual realities from people's memories. When a convict volunteers to be part of his experimental procedure, he reluctantly agrees and soon finds his own consciousness accidentally trapped in the convict's mind. Nir Paneri created this independent sci-fi thriller with a decent pace based on a solid script. It contains a gripping storyline in which the audience is immersed from the beginning. It showcases a unique and brilliant concept with a satisfying ending. The plot appears logical and realistic, filled with action and unexpected twists. The actors portray great convincing performances, making the characters memorable. Furthermore, it's not just a regular film where viewers extract details from visuals, but it is very thought-provoking and a must-watch for everyone. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone. Watch it, watch it, watch it. No! No!